This is the third Tamagotchi I've killed in the past three days. I wake up every day, and I start a new Tamagotchi, and by the time I wake up the next morning, it is gone. It flies away in this little spaceship and, and leaves forever. I mean, I already knew I wouldn't make a good parent, but this is just depressing. The Tamagotchi, a simplistic toy from the 90s. A digital pet simulator. Grow a little egg into a blob and into a sprite pet that will inevitably die because you forgot to feed it. Tamagotchi is very nostalgic. I myself had a Tamagotchi when I was younger, and I hate to admit it squeezes my heart when I look at it. But why is this thing so popular? Or rather, why was it so popular in the 90s? It's just a piece of plastic. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you the brief history of the Tamagotchi and what made this lovable digital pet simulator so addicting and so popular. The Tamagotchi was invented by Aki Maita and developed by Akihiro Yokoi back in 1996, a time in which flashy neon toys and cheesy pop music was all the rage. Akihiro Yokoi of Bandai originally came up with the idea after seeing a commercial on TV where a boy was trying to bring his pet turtle along with him on a trip. These guys that made this little virtual egg-shaped device even won a Nobel Prize. Okay, it wasn't an actual Nobel Prize, it was an IG Nobel Prize, which is just satirical. But hey, it's an award. I only ever got awarded with a prize once, and it was a chess piece glued to a wooden board that I received for literally just showing up to chess club. So hey, I'm pretty jealous. Regardless of prizes though, this thing was a huge hit monetarily. It sold 10 million units in less than a year of coming out. Bandai actually had to ramp up production to 3 million units a month just to keep up with the insane demand for the Tamagotchi craze. Even adults were raising Tamagotchis. There were reports of Japanese businesswomen canceling meetings to make sure they could care for their pet. Once they moved Tamagotchi to the States in May of 1997, it sold over 3.5 million units in just a month. This thing was a massive success. The Tamagotchi is rather small. In fact, my big meaty adult claws can't fit on it super well. It's obviously catered to a child, which I think is ageist. I mean, come on. Quite frankly, they should strip Maita and Yokoi of their Nobel Prize award immediately. The Tamagotchi is a small alien species that the user can raise by feeding it, letting it play games, and cleaning its literal excrement. I mean, it's a pet. I don't know what you expected. It's all fun in games when you get a puppy as a Christmas gift until a week later your dad is screaming daily because it keeps shitting on the kitchen floor. The Tamagotchi initially released in just Japan and was actually exclusively marketed towards girls. Great, so it's ageist and it's sexist. Twitter isn't gonna like this one, Tamagotchi. Gameplay on the Tamagotchi also varies between the different models. Some have more interactive play and with some of them you don't really have to do much at all. But the gameplay is always relatively similar. You start at an egg, set the clock to your time, wait several minutes and hatch a small pet trying to keep it alive and trying not to let it cover the room in feces. The actual mini games and play of the device is pretty straightforward. In fact, the games are pretty awful if we're being honest, but that's not the point of a Tamagotchi. I didn't get one of these expecting a AAA Battle Royale Fortnite experience, but honestly, a Tamagotchi Battle Royale would kind of be sick. The original first generation of Tamagotchis had a mini game where you literally just guess whether the Tamagotchi is looking left or right. But in the second generation of Tamagotchi, it was replaced with a random number generator where you try to guess if the number will be higher or lower than the one displayed on the screen. Riveting, really. There's a hunger meter, a happy meter, a training meter, which, just like in real life, depletes. The only problem I have with this system is that I find myself caring more about its happiness than my own. Late night, 3 a.m., haven't eaten, I'm screaming at the Tamagotchi, it's all I care about. Waiting until the end of the week to get my YouTube video edited because I'm playing the Tamagotchi. The evolution of the Tamagotchi is pretty simple. It starts out as an egg and then enters the Tamagotchi life cycle. Starting as a baby, it then becomes a child, then a teenager, and then an adult. Some models even have an elderly evolution stage. I personally think they should add a stage before the egg so we can see how those things things reproduce in detail. <clears throat> I'm sorry. If you don't care for your Tamagotchi just right, it can die. And they also have a standard life expectancy too, so it can just perish of old age. I'd like to think my Tamagotchis die in a nice, comfortable bed, dreaming of rainbows and flowers. But in reality, they often die of starvation and disease from feces buildup. But I like my headcanon better. In a modern Tamagotchi device, they don't really die because that's too evil and sad. They just get in a flying saucer and fly infinitely into the sunset, most likely eventually falling prey to the ground 
gravity of a large star and burning up. I mean, I never really raised it to fly a spaceship, so I don't think it's going to be very good at that. I really only taught it how to eat hamburger. I guess this implies that the Tamagotchi just innately in their genetic code know how to fly a spaceship. <laughs> so that's pretty impressive. Feeding the Tamagotchi is pretty important, but the Tamagotchi can also get sick from overfeeding, and it can also get sick, you know, if you fail to clean its feces. When the Tamagotchi gets sick, you have to do an extreme video game combo, which consists of hovering over the medicine icon and pressing a button. Yeah, you can just give it the vax. Pretty based, I guess. If a Tamagotchi passes to another plane of existence, you can just reset and get a new one. So that's nice, I guess. Like I mentioned, mine seemed to want to leave me within 24 hours, so I'm pretty used to this mechanic of resetting by now. Well, if it isn't Tamagotchi, her new favorite pet. Yes! So what's that make me? Fish sticks? Oh, are you hungry? Oh, no, 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 no. By all means, feed it. Play to your heart's content. Look, Goldie. I took good care of her, and she changed again. Change? How about changing some water here? Katie, your bus is here. So Tamagotchi can pause. I can pause, too. Want to see that again? Tamagotchi, the original virtual reality pet. Your care determines the pets you get from Bandai. The design of Tamagotchi is very adorable and minimalist. It has that sort of classic, weird Japanese charm. The eggshells themselves often have these wacky, colorful 90s looking designs. Neon greens and blues, wacky art, translucent covers like a Game Boy Color. Here's a McDonald's Tamagotchi. A lot of the Generation 1 designs are pretty simple, often a few colors or this kind of clock design that they seem to print a lot of. In the second generation of models, the shells had more fun, artistic designs, in my opinion, with funky artwork and kanji on them, wacky text spanning the whole circumference of the egg, a tiger pattern, a cow print, a leopard print, blue with stripes, completely translucent, golden egg! In 1997, there were a selection of six special designs released in the Asia Pacific and Oceania regions. Each was specific to a country, Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand. Then there was a second generation with a few from China, one in India, New Zealand, and Vietnam. These are particularly wacky and fun, and maybe some of my favorite shell designs. I think my absolute favorite is Malaysia's with the cute sea turtles. I couldn't find any listings for these online, so I'm just going to assume they're probably worth more than my life, but it would be really cool to have one of these. The original designs got re-released about 20 years later in 2017, and are still being printed today. There's this cool rainbow one released in the US and Europe. I have a Generation 2, which is called Colorful Characters, because I like the little dudes on it. But they're also pretty, man. I sound like a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally ogling over a piece of plastic. The characters themselves are the big selling points, though. Which pet will you get once that egg hatches and that little blob grows? There's a pretty definitive tier list in my head, but let me know which one's your favorite down below. Some of the more original Tamagotchi designs are some of the most iconic ones. Mamechi, Kuchipachi, the worst Tamagotchi. Mimichi, Masukuchi, Oyajichi, never mind, this is the worst one. Ginjirochi, Tamachi, and motherfucking Bill. <laughs> Gucci Pachi haunts my dreams, personally. I feel like I always got this guy when raising a Tamagotchi as a kid. And I'll just be honest with you, when I get him, I let him starve. And I think that's okay. My personal favorite classic Tamagotchi is Mimichi, which is a cute little white bunny looking thing with black ears. I have a plush of her, actually. I frequently throw it across the room at high speeds. Oh, and yeah, I've tried feeding it. It it doesn't do anything. It might be broken, honestly. I don't understand. In the modern game, there are a lot more characters, and also Bill is gone. I'm quite into Sebirechi and Gozaruchi myself. Maybe we could just do a tier list just to make people really angry. <clears throat> okay, they're all S tier. Except Coochie Pachi, he's F tier, fuck that guy. <laughs> the original Tamagotchi went through about a year of testing and development. At one point, it was going to be a wristwatch before it became the classic keychain A. The toys were also seen as too masculine during development, so they actually tried making the characters more kawaii so that girls would be into them more. Interestingly, the same pair that made Tamagotchi actually went on to create Digimon, which honestly, now that I think about it, has a very similar concept. This took Tamagotchi and made it a little less cute and more shonen-y. These two had some pretty cool design ideas at the time. Newer designs for Tamagotchi are a little more high-tech, but I don't know if these are very popular popular, but I'm also not eight. There's the new Tamagotchi Pix, which lets you take pictures with your Tamagotchi. There's also these spin-off Tamagotchis, like R2-D2 Tamagotchi, or Pac-Man Tamagotchi, or really anything you can think of. Something about them is sort of sterile, though, missing that original unique charm that the Tamagotchis of old were all about. I sound like old man yelling at Cloud, I guess, but it's just not the same, man. But 
but it's also a toy for a child and I'm in my mid 20s so who gives a shit really? <laughs> Today the Tamagotchi is sort of a novelty toy. Maybe at the age of six I would have loved to sit around all day and feed a pet the same pixelated hamburger over and over but I just can't take it anymore. I don't have the patience to raise a child let alone a Tamagotchi but as much as I suck at raising this thing there is a huge appeal. It's cute and it's very nostalgic. I love little novelty toys from Japan, and I actually have a lot of them in my room. Like the Satomaton. But it really makes sense that this thing blew up. This was a decade before the smartphone. There wasn't a digital utopia within arm's reach at all times through the use of a pocket computer. If you were out somewhere, you had what you had on you. You couldn't just play Pokemon Go at the zoo. You couldn't just Google whatever you wanted. The Tamagotchi allows you to play this unique game of fostering a creature on the go. And it felt really personal. Artificial intelligence wasn't even really a thing back then. So this sort of pseudo AI, this tiny minimalist pet simulator felt futuristic. Pet simulators were all the rage back in the day too. Remember Neopets or the Pet series? Nintendogs? The Tamagotchi is a little consumeristic plastic symbol of humanity's innate love for nurturing and caring for something. They even coined a term for it called the Tamagotchi effect, a phenomenon where humans develop emotional bonds to artificial life. Sometimes I just look at an apple in the kitchen and as an empath I feel that. Humans naturally want to nurture things, whether it's a cow in Minecraft, a piece of styrofoam with a sharpie smiley face on it, or even a little Tamagotchi. Oh, hold on, my Tamagotchi is crying again. Oh, it evolved! No, it's Coochie Pachi again! Ah!